Good morning, students. Last time we have started IUPAC nomenclature of organic compounds, in which we have completed nomenclature of saturated hydrocarbons or aliphatic saturated hydrocarbons. Then we have completed rules for IUPAC nomenclature of aliphatic unsaturated hydrocarbons, that is alkenes and alkynes. Now we are going to see the nomenclature of or IUPAC nomenclature of simple monocyclic hydrocarbons. That is, last time we have completed the nomenclature of or IUPAC nomenclature of aliphatic saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons. Now we are going to see IUPAC nomenclature of simple monocyclic hydrocarbons. Now here, first we are going to see nomenclature of saturated monocyclic hydrocarbons. Now saturated means having carbon-carbon single bond. Monocyclic means having single ring. Hydrocarbons means having carbon and hydrogen atom. Now here, this is first example. Now in this example, there are three carbon atom. That is, this is propane. That is parent alkene is propane. But all these three carbon atoms are in a ring structure. Therefore, the name of this compound is cyclopropane. Now here, parent alkene is propane. But all these three carbon atoms are in a ring structure. Therefore, write prefix before propane cyclo. This is cyclic compound. Therefore, write cyclopropane. Now in this example, here... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 carbon atoms are there. Therefore, it is hexane. But all these 6 carbon atoms are in a ring structure. Therefore, it becomes cyclohexane. That is, prefix of cyclo is added before the name of alkane. Now, in this case, here there are 5 carbon atoms in a cyclic ring. CH2, 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 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Therefore, it is pentane. There are 5 carbon atoms. Therefore, it is pentane. But they are in ring structure. Therefore, it becomes cyclopentane. Now, these are the three examples of saturated monocyclic hydrocarbons. Now, second example we are going to see or second type we are going to see nomenclature of unsaturated monocyclic hydrocarbons. Now, what is meant by unsaturated? That is compound containing carbon-carbon double bond or triple bond. Monocyclic means having single ring and hydrocarbons means containing carbon and hydrogen atom. Now, this is first example. Now, here there are six carbon atom. Here there is CH2 group. Here CH2, CH2, CH2. Here CH. Then here also CH. Then there are six carbon atoms in ring structure. Therefore, it is parent alkene is cyclohexane. Parent alkene is hexane. But there is double bond. Therefore, it becomes hexene. And all these carbon atoms are in cyclic ring. Therefore, it becomes cyclohexene. Now, next one. Now, in this case, there are two double bonds in a ring structure. There are five carbon atoms, CH2, CH, 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 and here there is CH2. Now, one, two, three, four, and five carbon atom. But there are... Now, we are going to give numbering. There are five carbon atom. Therefore, parent alkene is pentane. Now, we are going to give numbering from the carbon atom, which is double bonded. From this or from this? Now, if we start from this, 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5. Now, here, if we give numbering, 1, 2, 3, then at 1 and number 2 carbon atom, there is double bond, and at 3 and 4 number carbon atom, there is double bond. That is, it is diene. That is, 2 double bond. Therefore, it becomes diene. Now, here, there are 5 carbon atom. Therefore, it becomes these five carbon atoms are in chain, therefore it becomes cyclopenta 
Now position of double bond is at 1 and 3 position, therefore it becomes 1, comma 3, diene. That is name of this compound is cyclopenta 1, 3, diene. In this way, unsaturated monocyclic hydrocarbons are named according to IUPAC nomenclature system. Now we are going to see the nomenclature of substituted monocyclic hydrocarbons. That is, these cyclic compounds possesses some substituent of alkyl groups. Then how these compounds are named? Look here. Now this is ring of six carbon atom. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now give the numbering from the end which is nearer to the substituent. Now we are going to give numbering from the carbon atom which possesses substituent. Now in this case there are two substituent. One is ethyl group and second is methyl group. Now alphabetically E come first. Therefore we give numbering from the carbon atom which possesses ethyl group. One, two, then three, four, five and six. Now here for the second substituent lower carbon atom is numbered. That is we does not giving numbering like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then this 5 substituent or this methyl substituent comes at 5 position. Therefore, we are going to give numbering from the carbon atom which is bonded to ethyl group followed by next substituent. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now it is cyclohexane. But at one position there is ethyl group and at three position there is methyl group. Therefore name of this compound is 1-ethyl, 3-methyl, cyclohexane. Now this is second example. Now in this case, here this is bond line formula. This is also bond line formula. Now... At the terminal, there is CH3 group. Therefore, here there is CH3 group, here also CH3 group, here also CH3 group. But at this position, that is this carbon is of CH2 group. That is here, this carbon of cyclohexane is attached to CH2, CH3 group. Now, CH2, CH3 group is nothing but ethyl group. And here there is CH3, CH3 group. Therefore, here... At this position there is ethyl group and at this position there is two meth there are two methyl group. Now we are going to give numbering from the carbon atom which is bonded to ethyl group because alphabetically E come first. Therefore it becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now it is cyclohexane but at one position there is ethyl group therefore it is 1 ethyl then 3, 3, dimethyl, cyclohexane. 1-ethyl, 3, 3, dimethyl, cyclohexane. In this way, IUPAC nomenclature for the monocyclic hydrocarbons are given. Now we are going to see some examples of substituted monocyclic hydrocarbons. Now look here, this example. In this example, this is cyclopropane, one, two, three. But this cyclic group, but this cyclopropane is substituted by a straight chain alkyl group. Now this straight chain alkyl group possesses more number of carbon atom than that of this cyclopropane. Cyclopropane possesses three carbon atom. But in this straight chain alkyl group, there are one, two, three, four, five, six carbon atom. Therefore, here, now we are going to give the name for this 
straight chain alkyl group and this uh, cyclopropyl group is considered as a substituent or branching of this straight chain alkyl group now look here this cyclopropyl group is attached to this straight chain alkyl group at this position now first we are going to give numbering to this straight chain alkyl group from the end which is nearer to the branching then here 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 carbon atom therefore parent alkyl becomes hexane and at 3 position there is cyclopropyl group therefore we write it as cyclopropyl 3 cyclopropyl hexane that is name of this compound is 3 cyclopropyl hexane now here this cyclic ring or cyclopropyl group is considered as a substituent or branching of this straight chain hexane now this is second example in this example this is cyclohexane 1 1 2 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 carbon atoms are there and here there is branching of this group. Now this group is nothing but here there is CH, CH3 and CH3. That is this branching is like this CH, CH3, CH3. In this way. Now this is isopropyl group. This group is isopropyl group. Therefore, name of this compound is isopropyl cyclohexane. In this way, IUPAC names for substituted monocyclic hydrocarbons are given.